Chinos. Ooh, is it like a Sabaro? We get some pizza. Hello, hello. My name is Gino. I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't own this place. But they give me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year, so that's pretty cool. Hey, mmm, pizza. Mmm, pizza. My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier, but I just can't help myself when we live so close to delicious food like Gino's pizza. Oh, mmm, pizza. I relate to that. Ooh, we can rock battle somebody. So, I see you're peeking at the help wanted poster that I put there. Are you interested in a job? <gasps> yes, so I can make money. Cool, let me get help you get started. Oh, you're taking this job, Sunny? Yeah, I mean, I'm moving in three days, but why the hell not? <laughs> in that case, I'll come back for you later. Work hard, okay? All right, I got this. Who wants some pizza? So, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Uh, we'll just start with the good news. So, the good news is we got three different pizza orders today. The bad news is our delivery boy suddenly called in sick yet again. These customers are all our regulars, so we stopped recording their addresses a long time ago. I can't remember where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Here, just take these notes and you'll be fine. Pizza man gave you his pizza notes. I'll go grab your uniform. <laughs> so cute. Don't be shy. Bring your uniform loud and proud. Now remember, you have three pizzas to deliver. When you're done, just bike your way back to the shop. I'm counting on you. This pizza goes down the street to the house with the... red door and the something out front oh dark red door and uh, some something rant a front rant a front Hydrant. Dark red door and fire hydrant up front. Ding dong. Pizza delivery. Delicious, delicious pizza. I'm coming for you, baby. Against all odds, you have successfully delivered the pizza. It's time to move on to the next order. Please take this pizza to the house of the light pink garage door and the light pink rug okay pink door pink rug sounds easy enough pink garage door pink rug okay uh right here right here pizza delivery Thanks. <laughs> we did it. That's me. Pizza delivery person comes. Like, thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> Hi, thanks. Pretty much the only thing I, I say. I mean, what else are you gonna say? Delicious pizza, here I come. No, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> Take the pizza to the house that has the gar garbage on the right side of the toys and fence. Oh, and no fence. Garbage on the right side by the toys and no fence. Okay. 
garbage on the right side of the toys and no fence. All right. Um, well. Ooh, look, they got a grill. Uh, this counts as a fence, I think. And the garbage is on the left side of the toys. For sale? No toys here. Garbage on the right side. Buy the toys. Buy the toys or buy the trees? Or buy the something else? This has garbage on the right side and no fence. But I don't know... <gasps> this one! Garbage right side, toys, no fence. Here's your fucking pizza! Pizza delivery! Thanks. That's all of them. It's time to head back. I hope they were all right. Hey, newbie. You're just the guy I wanted to see. According to some recent feedback, it seems that your customer satisfaction rating is 10 out of 10. Anyways, here's some monies. Maybe you can use it to buy some pizza. Ha, huh, fat chance. I got $20. And since you've been such a good sport, here's another freebie. I got Otherworldly CD. It's one of my all-time favorite tunes. You can play at the jukebox right down yonder. Man, there, there's a lot to this game that I wasn't expecting. Hey, Sunny, how'd you do on your job? While you were working, I decided to sit on a bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, ready to go when you are. Okay. Hey, kiddos, you caught me on my break. I've been trying to decide what to eat for a good 10 minutes, but I don't know why I'm fussing so much. Whatever I get is sure to be good. Wahahaha. I already did the job today. Okay. Let's uh play Pet Rock. I'm Rai. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. Whoa, you have a Pet Rock too? I just got into Pet Rocks 2 not too long ago. Mine is still it's in its beginning stages, but I'm sure it'll be powerful someday. <laughs> yeah, let's clash. Sweet, come on, bunny. Let's work together. Oh, I'm like, what? Uh, huh? His Pet Rock is called Bunny. I thought he was talking to me. I'm like, when did I put Bunny in? All right, I think a bunny, we want to smash it. Smash it. Yes, they use scissors. Okay. Let's try it again. Because the bunny ears are like scissors, right? Oh, they use paper this time. I guess it is random. Okay. Rock again. <coughs> okay. Scissors. Okay. Paper. Ah, you're good. Rock. No. Rock again. Let's go. Ah. Rock again. Let's go. Come on, scissors. Come on. Scissors. No! Ah. Paper. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Rock. <laughs> okay. There's a chance. If we win on this one, we get a combo too. 
Rock! Let's go! I feel good about this! Fuck! Rock again! Let's go! Fuck! It is rigged! Scissors every time. Let's go. Bitch. Bitch! Stupid bunny! Kill all bunnies! <coughs> Darn, your pet rock is pretty strong. I guess me and Bunny still have a way to go before we catch up to you. Okay, did I win anything? Did I... <laughs> Arcade machine doesn't look like it's working. Advertisements. Old jukebox. Do you want to donate your CDs? Sure. Otherworldly CD. And Mary CD. Let's play a song. Otherworldly. Thank the jank. Each rock has a set percentage of picking things. Like they might have a more chance to pick like scissors or something. otherworldly. any more pizzas? Okay, let's go to the... Let's talk to this guy, actually. Orange guy. <laughs> Drink orange juice! Have you ever heard the phrase? Orange is the happiest color? No. <laughs> no? Well, that's fine. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. Is vitamin C, which is essential for healthy immune system functions. It's also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from free radical damage. So, would you like to buy orange juice for two dollars? Okay. You got orange juice. Yes! Drink orange juice! You'll enjoy it! Bananas. Bananas just a bit underripe. Okay, guys. Do you like your bananas green, yellow, or spotted? <coughs> a wet mop. A vending machine. Ice. Very cold. Flowers. Apples, but green. Oranges. Oranges. Oranges, but yellow. Oh, what 
about the grapes? No love for grapes? To Miss Candy's candy shop. Fancy soda. Soda. Grapes. Oh, there we go. Apples. Vegetables. My mom and I are buying healthy stuff at the other mart because she threw away all the snacks in our house yesterday. I think she's been on a health craze since my dad's been only eating junk food lately. Why can't we do both? Balance is uh, good in anything. My husband keeps eating junk food. I need to make sure he has a healthy meal. To other mart pharmacy frozen stuff and lots of it all the containers in this section can be recycled to create new containers over and over and over and over again such a beautiful concept isn't it my son billy is such a stickler for the environment he and his friends are always picking up trash around the town it's good to see so many young people these days taking care of the planet. Cereal and cooking stuff. <gasps> the bakery section! My favorite. Small pastries. Smells sweet. Bread. Smells toasty. Oh. For some reason. Toast makes me nervous. Closed on Sundays. Money machine. Advertisements. Hey! Job? Yes. Okay. Oh, you're gonna take this job? That's cool. I'll just go hang out somewhere else in the meantime. See you soon, Sunny. It's time to work. <coughs> I give you weapon. You kill flies. Okay? Okay. You got a fly swatter. Now, go! Ike! Oh, no. Wham. Oh, God. Get that fly. Whack. Two flies! Sunny slaps himself in the face. Sunny feels angry. Oh god. These houseflies don't stand a chance. That's how I feel when I'm trying to deal with flies, too. More flies! You die! You fly, you die. I think we're done. Good job. She looks back at her fly swatter. $20 for a hard work. <coughs> Yay. Food scale. Hello, fish. Fish, a cat's favorite food. Oh, we're probably gonna need this for like a cat. <coughs> Raw sea meat smells fishy. Raw meat. Meat man, I have one job and it's to sell meat. Used for making hamburgers, seven dollars. What do I look like? I'm made of money. I hope we meet again. Chilled meat. Looks like there's more job postings here. Tutor help wanted. Looking for a local language tutor for my daughter. Joy, twenty dollars a day. Please bring this flyer to my house for a quick interview. Take the flyer. Yes. There's a map to the house on the back. Faraway Town Plaza, my house. Third third house 
on the right, down the street. Tutor help wanted. Looking for a local math tutor for my son Brent. $20 a day. Bring this flyer to my house. Take it? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, fine. <sighs> First house. Down the road, on the right. All right, let's go to the pharmacy. All kinds of medicine. <sighs> Is there nothing I can do? What's wrong? What's the matter? Medication fee. Consultation free. Do kids need anything for cuts or scratches? Bandage heals 50 heart. First aid kit heals 150 heart. It's a dollar for a bandage. Let's get a let's let's get a couple. Yeah, let's get a couple. Let's buy three. Three dollars. I think we can spare three dollars. Let's go to the candy shop. Cardboard cutout of the shop owner seems a bit much. Cute girl. Welcome! We hope our candy makes you smile! Miss Candace. I told you! Curtsy! It's smiley! Smiley! <laughs> yes, ma'am! Welcome! We hope our candy makes you smile. I told you. Curtsy, it's smiley. Oh, okay. You don't seem very nice. Sensational sour gummies. Ooh. So much candy. Sour gummies, chewy, chewy taffies. Sweet gumballs. Uh. So I was going to ask you guys what was your preference of those, but I feel like sour gummies has got to win. Does anybody prefer taffy or gumballs over sour gummies? There's no way, right? It's me, the happy and cheery Miss Candace. What would you like today? Smiley, smiley. Candy, chocolate, caramel apple. A dollar, a dollar, five dollars. Let's buy one of each. I don't know when I'm gonna, like, if I'm gonna need items to do quests or something. You know, never know. I'm just gonna buy whatever. Whatever I come across, I'll buy some. Please come again! Or else... Smiley, smiley! Let's get out of here. Uh, I guess that's it. Flowers. Oh, we didn't talk to the... These people. There's so many types of tamales on the market now. I don't need any of that fancy stuff. Canned tamales are good enough for me. Canned tamales? Is that a thing? Sounds gross. Is it good? I mean, it could be good. Better than a canned taco, I guess. In my opinion, food is only a vehicle for sauce. <laughs> Can anybody relate? I'm a big sauce person. Sauce everywhere small candies if you're feeling stressed may I suggest some tea earl gray and chamomile are good but boba is my favorite hell yeah boba boba buckets of paint pick up some trash oh it's a hardware store Assorted hardware stuff. Flowers.
floor and wall tiles. Wallpaper displays. Colored paper. After all this time, we finally moved in together. This is so exciting, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, this is the start of the rest of our lives. Now it's time to make our first important decision. What color should we paint our house walls? Hmm, I think anything would work. I like all of the colors. What do you think, Sean? I could go any way too. Don't worry about me. You can choose, Karen. What color would you like? Oh, Sean, you're too selfless. I don't need to pick a wall color. I'll be happy with anything as long as I'm with you. Shit, I'll pick the color. Karen, if we keep doing this, we're gonna be stuck here forever. Hmm, you're right. What if we just close our eyes and pick a color? Oh, that works. That way, the result will be completely impartial. Let's do it. Okay, sounds good. Close your eyes, Karen. But wait, hold on. It's okay. You should be the one to do it, Sean. I insist. No, Karen. It should definitely be you. What if I pick a color you don't like? Oh, we're not getting anything done here, are we? <laughs> I have an idea. Let's get a stranger to help us. Hey, you. Could you help us out for a second? This is where I would run the opposite direction. Please come here and pick a color sample. Just make sure it's completely random. You picked a floral wallpaper sample. Huh? What's this wallpaper doing in the paint section? Hmm, it must have gotten misplaced. Well, it's not really what I was expecting, but I'm kind of digging it. What do you think, Karen? A wallpaper seems neat. I think this works just fine. Let's do it. Thank you so much for your help. We're both from around the area, but we just moved in together into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. We're thinking of having a housewarming party two days from now. It would be amazing if you could join. Yellow roof, two days from now. Oh gosh. All right, buckets of paint. Cement, nails, nuts, and bolts. Smile, you're on camera. I'm not gonna steal anything, lamps. Hey, stranger, how's your day been? My day's been going just great. Wanna know why? Because today is the day that I'm finally going to be fixing the leak in my house. My problems began a couple of weeks ago. I found a really stubborn leak in the corner of my living room. How it got there, I don't know. It wasn't very noticeable at first, but the leak has been slowly getting worse and worse every day. To tell you the truth, I've already gotten used to hearing the sound of dripping water and the feeling of a damp carpet. But you know what? Today is the day everything changes. Yes, I'm finally here at Fix It. My tools are ready and I'm, I'm going to fix it. Phew, sorry for rant ranting to you like that. This leak might have been driving me mad without me knowing. My house is right next to the church, southwest of here. If you want to combine watch this momentous occasion, please be my guest. Okay. <coughs> okay. This is a lot. All kinds of tools. Sorted hardware stuff. Fertilizer. P U. Oh man, there's more. Potted plant. Gardening tools. Wheelbarrow thingy. More fertilizer. Gardening tools. Bonsai tree. Flowers. <gasps> What's this? I found a seashell. 
an elaborate flower arrangement. It comes off as a bit pompous. Fancy potted plant. Flowers, sunflowers. To be precise. <gasps> it was basil. And maybe Mari? I don't know. Ah! Ah! Yo, kid, I see you staring at that Help Wanted poster. Are you interested in a quick job? You know it! That's awesome, kid. I'll help you get started. Alright, kid. Take a good look at those shelves behind you and you'll probably notice that everything's a big jumbled mess. You'd think with a sign above the shelf, it'd be obvious where to put things, but people just don't give a crap these days. Oh, I hate working retail. Anyway, the sign above the shelf shows what product should be on display. Your job is to move everything back to its rightful place, got it? I'm counting on you, kid. Okay. Well. Let's pick up a wrench. Actually, can I pick up everything? Oh no, I can only do one at a time. Oh, is there an empty spot? Somewhere? I guess I can switch things around. Let's take the... Wait, what is the blue thing? Tape? Probably tape. Yes. Replace the shovel. Okay, I see where this is going. Oh god. <coughs> Feels like this is gonna take a while. Okay, we got one all cleared up. Oh no! These are supposed to be drills! Oh no! They were all in the wrong- I just assumed that was tape because there were so many tapes there. Oh my goodness. Mmm! Mm, we completed three! Yes! That looks so nice. Doesn't that look so nice? Snore, snore. I know it took a long time. Huh? What? You're finally done? Excellent work, kid. Here's $30. Don't spend it all in one place. <coughs> oh my god. It was actually worth it. That was so worth it. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, look at these. I didn't see these little safe boxes. Safe and key. Okay, we're going to the park. We could also do some tutoring. Let's see if we can do that. This person needed some tutoring. Oh, look at this. Space bunny. Oh, it's gone. No space bunnies here. Hello, hello. How can I help you? Give the school principal the green flyer. Ah, I see. You're here to tutor my son, Brent. Hmm. There's more than one of you, but you guys look pretty trustworthy. I guess it's possible that two tutors would be better than one. As long as you all split the payment, 
Please come in. Brent's waiting for you in his room upstairs. Wait, Kel, don't you want to go somewhere else? I don't want to split the payment. Shoe rack. Potted bamboo, bamboo, bamboo stalks. At least that's what you think they are. Work desk with some papers on top. It looks like someone was in the middle of grading some tests. Ouch. Doesn't look so good for these students. Why is the principal grading tests? There's an open book at the on the table. At this point, we shall briefly comment on how the perturbation the theoretic matrix elements between initial and final plane wave states can be used in bound state problems. Obviously, we cannot directly apply perturbation theory to compute bold state energies. However, we can first obtain approximate bound state energies by solving exactly the... You put the book back down. Slowly. <laughs> Wait, so... If he is reading that just for fun, then why does he need a tutor? House is filled to the brim with books on every subject. Okay, this guy is not lacking in knowledge, but in time, I guess it looks like. Time that he could be spending with his son. Now that's sad. This one is about something called organic chemistry. Whoops. Oh god, I'm trapped. Oh, just kidding. Fireplace. It looks like it's used every now and then. An ornate house plant. It adds a nice touch of color to the room. Lifetime Scientific Achievement Award. Make yourselves at home. Brent is waiting for you in his room upstairs. Okay, so I want to explore your the rest of your house because I'm nosy. Newspaper, a porcelain vase. Looks really fragile and expensive. Oh, let's not tip it over then. House phone. They have a message. I want to listen to it. Ooh, kitchen. Say the art slow cooker. Perfect for busy or lazy moms. At least that's what you heard on a commercial once. Salt and pepper shakers. A microwave. A refrigerator. Open it? Yes. They said make ourselves at home. Macaroni and cheese, cornbread, frozen shrimp, and soup. What are we having? I'm I'm partial to the cornbread myself. Mac and cheese sounds pretty good too. A nice lamp. He has more books! Grandfather clock. This one is some about something called nanomaterials. Nanomachines? Milk steak for you? Gross. Excuse me, do you have any microwave steak? That didn't work out so well for us last time. <clears throat> Alarm clock for responsible people. It's set to be five minutes early. How do you know that? This bed is a little on the hard side, but overall not bad. You would rate it a seven out of 10. Do you guys like go to, when you guys go to people's houses, do you, do you just start rating their stuff? Like, hmm, nice table, a little bit dusty. It's not cherry wood. Uh, six out of ten. Oh, here's the kid. Ugh. I want to explore the rest of the house. This bed is a little on the hard side. Seven out of ten. I guess they just like hard beds around here. All right, kid. I'm so sorry that your dad is so neglectful of you. He has time for all these books and not time for his son. That's really sad. Hey, you must be my new tutors. Nice to meet you. My name is Brent. Should we get started now? Yes. This is the math tutor job, isn't it? Kel, you're not even helping. I'm not, I'm not splitting the payment with you. You're just on the seven out of 10 bed. 
You always check the mattress firmness at strangers' houses? When I grew up, my friend, uh, I would always go to her house and her parents had a waterbed. Waterbeds were really like, uh, they were really popular back in the day. D does anybody, you, and d does anybody know anybody here that still has a waterbed in their house? Your babysitter had a waterbed? You grew up with a waterbed? I love that thing though. I, I don't know about sleeping on it, but it was fun to just go on there and bounce, you know? This was like back in the 90s. And I think, when did waterbeds first become popular? Probably in like the 80s or, or sooner than that, but they were still popular in the 90s, I think. All right, so this is the worksheet that I'm struggling with. The equation is giving me trouble. Four times 51. Hmm. Four times fifty one. Two oh four. Oh, I got it. I understand now. Yeah, me too. How about this one? Three times five plus fifteen minus one plus six divided by two. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on this okay so first we got to do the parentheses which there's none so we're good so then e is exponents right which there's none okay thank god and then next would be uh multiplication and division so we have 15 plus 15 minus 1 plus 6 divided by 2 is 3 and then so 15 plus 15 is 30 minus 1 Addition and subtraction, they're like the same, right? On the same level. Uh, minus one is 29 plus three is um, 32. Oh, I got it. I understand now. How about this one? Oh God, is it gonna get harder? Ah! <laughs> okay, hold on. I hate math. Math is the worst. Oh my god, is this is like algebra. No, what is this? Is this algebra? Minus 3x plus 4 equals 7x plus 24. I don't remember how to do this. Uh, but we can plug them in. We can plug them in. Let me get a fresh paper because I... Let's see. This is... Oh, I'll use this paper. Okay. Hold on. I got this. So, minus 6 plus 4 <laughs> equals 7 times 2, which is 14, plus 24. That does not... That does not work out. Not work out. So, is it negative 2? Negative 3 times negative two, right? Because you multiply them, right? If it's like three X, it's multiplied, right? So negative three times negative two would be ne negative six? No, positive six? Oh shit. Because two negatives equals a positive. Six plus four is 10. Seven times negative two is negative 14 plus 24 is 10. It's negative two. Phew! I think I got a much better hang of this than before. Thank you! Oh my god, there were only three questions. Thank you! Hey Brent, how are you doing? Oh, I see you've completed your worksheet. Well done, tutor. Here's the payment for your help. 20 bucks. That's all? Come on, man. Feel free to come back tomorrow. Do we want to come back tomorrow or the problem's gonna get harder? I'm leaving. Wait, we didn't go in this room yet. Or we didn't go... Yeah, we did Oh, the bathroom. A bathtub. Some towels and toiletries. A mirror. A toilet. Okay.
Hello? Let me tell you a story. I was walking back from Fix It after making a purchase with my hard-earned money. When I looked down, and lo and behold, <coughs> my brand new garden shears are missing! Yes, it's true. My new garden shears tore a hole open in my plastic bag. Oh, how silly. I felt just then. Do you think you could help me find them? They should be somewhere around here. Okay. Knock, knock. No response, because she's outside. All right, this is the other tutor job right here. Thick eyebrows. Hello there. What can I do for you? Ah, you must be Joy's new language tutor. Hmm, an interview is too much trouble. You should know second grade language, right? Hurry and come on in. My daughter Joy is waiting for you in her room. But you're gonna chaperone us, right? Cause like, this just doesn't seem right. A shoe rack. Bunch of books in a language you can't read. Uh, I think they're Asian, right? Because they take their shoes off in the house. TV remote. Best not to touch it. These are prone to getting lost. Newspaper. Unfinished cup of coffee. Ornate houseplant. It adds a nice touch of color to the room. Fireplace. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Bunch of magazines in a language you can't read. We gotta check the bed's firmness. You're right, we do. Perfectly good fruit. A table lamp. A big bowl. Is that another TV? Empty cup still smells like tea. You open the pot. Mmm, smells like dumplings. <gasps> Some bottles of sauce and vinegar. A rice cooker. Salt and pepper shakers. Refrigerator. Open it. Yes. Rice, string beans, and lots of dumplings. Uh, we can stay for dinner, right? Joy should be in her room right now. Thanks for your help. How old is your daughter? you're letting two strange boys into your daughter's bedroom why this bed is quite large and the sheets feel adequate but it all smells a little musty you would rate it a five out of ten rating people's beds is my new favorite thing wardrobe House phone, empty cup, another bed. This bed is the perfect balance of firm and soft, but the sheets seem to ha be a little lacking in comfort. You would rate it a six out of 10. What would you guys rate your own beds? I don't like that the sheets always come loose on my bed. So I would rate it, um, a 4 out of 10. Actually, our bed is like a 3 out of 10. We need a new mattress. <laughs> we desperately need a new mattress. Bunch of magazines. Book in a language. A toilet. A bathtub. Mirror. Some towels and toiletries. Zero out of ten, at least it isn't the floor. Your your floor is your bed? Nine out of ten for your bed, five out of ten for the sheets? Sad bed sounds? <laughs> what does that mean, Spock? <laughs> <coughs> Guys, we gotta up our bed game. Alright, what do we got in here? A work desk. It's really dusty. A stand for sheet music. What is that on the table supposed to be? Oh, it's it looks like a, a, a portable uh, cassette player. Textbooks. Let's rate her bed. It seems decent, but the sheets would gather up too much, at least... Would gather up too much heat at night for your liking. 
you would rate it 6 out of 10. Guitar. This bed has an old hat on it. Does that make it a 10 out of 10 bed? It has a hat on it. Hello, I'm Joy. Pleased to meet you. You must be my new tutors. <coughs> Should we start now? Cal, please help. This is the worksheet that I'm stuck on. This question is giving me a little trouble. My pencil is in, at, or on the table. On the table. I don't need a calculator for this. Oh, okay, I see now. How about this one? The phrase is, silently read your book. What type of word is silently? Oh, uh, I forgot this stuff. Cause like, this isn't really stuff that you use in your day to day. <laughs> like, excuse me, sir. Uh, is What is this word? Uh, I think it's an adverb though, right? Is it an adverb? <laughs> I don't remember this stuff. It's not an... Wait, adjective is a descriptor. But it has the Lee on it. So does that make it an adverb? Adverb? Ooh. This one's the hardest one. Oh, God. I was so, like confident coming into this until they started throwing adverbs and prepositions at me. <coughs> Eggs, eggplants taste better when it is cooked. Which one is correct? Well, that one's not correct because it should be eggplants taste better when they are cooked. It is definitely tastiest than tofu. No, tastier. I think eggplant is the better tasting soft vegetable. C. Hello, hello, Joy, how are you doing? Are these tutors of any help to you at all? Ah, I see you've already completed your worksheet. Amazing work. You should consider tutoring full time. Here's your payment. $20. Please come back tomorrow. Okay. I can see that this short game can be very long. <laughs> I feel like it, it's gonna be a longer playthrough than I originally expected it to be. But that's okay. <laughs> Yellow bun granny. Excuse me, sorry to impose, but you look like some trustworthy people. Do you think you can help me? I need to pick this week's medication at the pharmacy, but I'm feeling a bit weak at the moment. I usually send my daughter Charlene, but she's not here right now. Would you be so kind as to pick it up for me? Thank you, children. Just talk to the man at the pharmacy. He'll understand. We got a prescription and an ID card. Road is closed. Some things just never change. Yeah, like construction being literally all the time. All right, well, we know where the pharmacy is, so we can go there really quick. Hmm, hello, how can I help you? You have the prescription card and ID card. Oh, you're here to pick up some medication. Oh, I know who this is for. I'll bring it right out. You got Granny's medicine. You're picking up her medicine in place of her daughter today? I'm not actually supposed to give out medication like this, but I usually make an exception for her since she doesn't have a way to come here herself. Thanks for helping her out. You kids have a nice day. If you ever need bandages or first aid kits, I've got you covered here. Hell yeah. Oh, you came back. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you very much. You have been a big help. It's nice to see the youth helping us old folks. You're all welcome to my home anytime. Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do. 
Wow, we can just walk right in. A shoe rack. A wheelchair. Hi, Granny. We're here to raid your kitchen. Bunch of mail addressed to Ma. The return addresses are all from all over the country. Does she have like a bunch of kids that are just all all around? A slew of certificates and awards line this wall. The oldest one dates back to almost 20 years ago. <gasps> Wonder what they're for. What are they for? Some soda cans. Granny, that's not good for you. What's Granny got in her refrigerator? Yogurt, asparagus, and some type of medication. Okay. You get a pass. You get a pass for the uh for the soda, I suppose. all across the floor. Earth, it smells like rotten food in here. Oh my god. Granny! Ooh. Creepy guy. Why, yes, that peripheral you ponder over there is my duly betrothed. I'd appreciate if you keep your optical appendages in their sheaths. She assimilates my confab better than anyone in anything else. She's such a sweetheart, and we love each other. Now leave us alone. A bunch of small figurines kept in surprisingly good condition. Do you happen to have any any uh, shears? <laughs> Gardening shears? If you are bolstering why I'm so much more pandemic than you are, it's solely due to my philosophy major. My tenure has led me to my most elephantine discovery of all. Everyone is 100, no, maybe 1,000 years too early in time to contemplate my genius. Pity me no more with your occupancy. You can't perceive anything I interject into your cerebrum anyway. <laughs> I say to thee, is that a pet rock? It gawks like a little weakling. Barter, you won't stand a quark against my muncher king. Shalt we ostracize a clash to con include an empire. I shall reign splendiferously. Huzzah, you incumbent buffoon. You'll be sorry for that. Prepare to be embellished. Let's go, Muncher King. What in the world is... I don't understand. Is this her husband? Is this her grandson? Like, it looks like he has gray hair. Who put your room in the game, Cliff? <laughs> That bed is definitely a negative one out of ten. <coughs> oh, this guy looks scary. Okay. Let's try... Paper. No. Okay, let's try rock. Oops, I did scissor. Rock! Dang, I would've won! So he used paper, scissor, and rock. So I don't know what he's more like... What he'll use more often. He used scissor twice. Let's try rock again. Got him! Do that impertinent facade of off your maw. You just got lucky, that's all. I bequeath this hat to you, which I see you look upon with awe. Now, be gone! You got a fedora? <laughs> this oh, we can't rate his bed. Excuse you, can you move? I want to rate your bed. Some strange comics. You got trash. Oh, I can actually pick up trash. What is that? A mortar and pestle? 
What is that supposed to be? An ashtray? What? You're smoking in here? Oh god, this room gets grosser, more and more gross by the minute. Let's rate the couch. Three out of ten. Okay, the bed. This bed is big, but the mattresses feel uneven and lumpy. You would rate it a six out of ten. We're giving out a lot of sixes. Giving out a lot of sixes. Nobody checks their phone messages around here. Oh, this place is dirty because of that. Whoever that is. Oh, wait. Bathtub with some strange equipment attached to it. Wait, what is this pipe out of the wall? Is this like wheelchair accessible kind of thing? Washing machine and dryer. Oh, it's up here. A mirror. I've never seen a washing machine and dryer in someone's bathroom. I mean, you have to have a really big bathroom. You think it's a handle for old people? That's for soup? What? <laughs> Shumrai, be quiet. Excuse me, where's the button for the soup? Ah! <laughs> what kind of soup you got today, Granny? What's the, what's the special? What's the soup of the day? Fancy lamp. Fancy tea party for two. A fancy tea party for two. I guess this is Granny's room. Pretty purple flowers line the windowsill. This bed is a little on the soft side, but overall not too bad. Ooh, maybe we'll give it a 7 out of 10. You would rate it a 7 out of 10. <laughs> Granny's got style. Oh, let's talk to Granny. Hold on. Can I talk to Granny? Granny, I want to say hi. My youngest daughter is usually so attentive of me. I wonder where she is. She's always been pretty quiet, but she's made a lot of new friends recently. I hope she doesn't forget about me. Do you want the TV on, Granny? There you go. I'm adopted now. I am now adopted. What is the what is the term for the act of adopting yourself to to someone? Oh, I found her garden shears. Were they there the whole time? Whoopsie. Ah, oh, thank you, boys. I'll be sure to never make such a silly mistake ever again. It's rare to see young boys willing to help a stranger these days. Thank you. 20 bucks, please. Feel free to come to my house anytime. You'll always be welcome. We get to judge more people's beds? This is the best game ever. <laughs> this is the best game ever. When I purchased this game on Steam, I think it was under the wrong title though. Because it's called Omori, but I think it's supposed to be Bed Raider 2024. What do we got in the fridge? Red glasses lady. You got a toaster. Just as long as you don't make me toast. Avocados, eggs, blueberries, and grapefruit. Oh, she's vegan. She's vegan. Table lamp. What's in here? Oh, she does yoga. A yoga mat. Yoga is good for you as it strengthens the connection between your body and spirit. At least that's what my what mom told you once. I want a yoga mat. I want a yoga room with bonsai trees in there and a mat. That sounds really cool. Snip, 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 snip. Oh, 
Oh, hi there, you two. I didn't expect you so soon. Look here. Caring for these bonsai is a hobby of mine. It helps me relieve stress. After this, I'm going to start preparing dinner for my children, Kim and Vance, tonight. They better not be late again, or else. Snip, 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 snip! There's an open book on the table. Pruning should be done regularly to maintain the shape of your bonsai. All bonsai grow at different rates, so it is necessary to evaluate each tree's growth and adjust your trimming to accommodate. This bed seems decent, but the sheets would gather up to... Oh, the heat. Okay, 6 out of 10. We need more unique bed dialogue here. We're getting repeated dialogue. It's not a good sign. Bathtub. Bamboo. Mirror. Towels and toiletries. And a toilet. Work desk. Work desk. Bunch of books, comics, and magazines. Aww. How cute. This bed is a little on the soft side. Not, not too bad. <coughs> 7 out of 10. Also 7 out of 10. Squeaky toy. Do they have a dog? I'm just going to turn everybody's TV on. Turn on all the lights in the house and the TV and then just leave. Let's see if we can find this church. What's over here? Oh. Okay, this is like... Are we going to eventually meet all these people? Whose house is this? We couldn't go in here earlier. Why are we going this person's house? Hello? All-American guy. Hey, fellas. How's it hanging? I gotta say, there's nothing like enjoying a long weekend with my favorite couch and my favorite show on TV. There's only one thing that's bothering me right now on this otherwise perfect day. Uh, strangers breaking into your house? I can't find my TV remote anywhere, and I'm way too comfortable to leave this house. If you see it, could you give it to me? Thanks, kiddos. Did we meet this guy? I don't remember. Well, here's the TV remote. Here you go. Hey, get out of the way! Can't you see I'm watching TV? Oh, shit. I was trying to give you the remote. Fuck. Hey, there's my TV remote. Thanks, kiddos. Here, take some Orange Joe on me. Orange Joe? What the heck is Orange Joe? Kel's favorite soda, orange flavored coffee? Ew, what? No. Why do you just have trash in your house? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The tone of this game is really all over the place. It is, right? Set of marble coasters. Looks really expensive. A white porcelain tea set. Also looks really expensive. All American guy is living the all American dream. What does the all-American guy have in his refrigerator? Hot dogs? Brussels sprouts, potato salad, and lots of orange joe. Brussels sprouts is just such a random thing. All-American mom. Oh, if it isn't Kellen Sunny, it's been a while since I've seen you two. I hope things have been okay lately. Hey, Kel, you've grown so tall. You're basically a head taller than me. Your mother told me about your growth spurt, but it's... Another thing to see in person. <clears throat> I remember when I could still pat you on the head. Oh, you were such a mischievous kid. Oh no, I forgot about my pie. Oh no, the all-American pie is burnt. 
Phew! That was a close call. Unfortunately, it's a little burnt. At the fair, it would probably rate an 8 out of 10, but I promise it's still quite delicious. Oh, don't just take my word for it. You must try it yourself. We got pie. Yes! Award-winning pie. I'm getting really hungry now. Wardrobe. Why do you have a wardrobe here? Photos of a girl taken throughout her childhood. At some point, she dyed her hair blue. Hey, it looks like she's the same age as you. There's so much to explore. Here's another seashell. If you hold up a seashell to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Okay, we gotta we gotta test the all American beds in this house. Listen to this all American music. Well, that was unexpected. No, keep going. <laughs> I don't think Sunny likes that kind of music. Grain juice in a can. Grain juice? What the hell? <coughs> oh, the all-American bed has a lumpy and uneven mattress? Six out of ten? What? I'm so disappointed. What the hell is grain juice? A custom-made fishtail you can wear on your feet. Oh, must be for their daughter? That's a look that looks like uh, there's a picture of a mermaid or something there. Okay. Beer? Oh, I guess you're right. Beer is made of like barley and stuff, right? Hello? Who are you? Hey, neighbor. How's it going? Hey, Cal. Oh, and who else is with you? Oh, wait, I recognize you. It's Sunny, isn't it? <coughs> Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. My family has always lived here, but I was sent off to boarding school for a few years, and I just came back about three years ago, I think. Hey, Sunny, Chris is my next door neighbor, and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid or a shark. Or even a torpedo. Oh, Kel, you're never short on compliments. <laughs> Aren't you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be a shoe in Well, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. <laughs> but if I practice basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Not that hard working. It feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. <sighs> Sorry, I must sound a little obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? I guess. Actually, I think this all started because... I went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them again one day. But for the time being, I guess I'll be collecting seashells and stuff. You know, that story kind of reminded me of this, but Sunny is actually moving away from here really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Oh, Sunny is moving? Hmm. Well, being away from my friends was pretty tough at first, but change is just a fact of life. It's the memories we make with them that we should cherish. You know what? I just decided something. If you see any she uh, seashells... Oh, God. <laughs> if you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. I have a seashell, but first I gotta rate your bed. Perfect balance, the firm and soft, but the sheets are lacking in comfort. Six out of ten. I'm sorry, seashell girl. But I do have a seashell, so you can have that. Wow, it's a cute one. Thank you. 
She's fiddling with something in her hands. Hey! No peeking! Oh. I'm not peeking. Wait, you said you would make it worth my while! Where's my prize? Where's my reward? This all-American house sucks. I'm leaving. We go to Kel's house right now? Oh, uh, I guess not. Okay. Walked away from the reward. What? <laughs> we just fell for an all-American scam. No! Crash. What's behind these bananas? Knock, knock. No response. This place looks a little beat up. Compared to the others. Knock, knock. No response. Where's the church they were talking about? What's that all about? Hmm? Knock, knock. Hey, kids. You're just in time to watch me fix this pipe once and for all. Oh, we must be right by the church. Come in, come in. He's so excited. <coughs> oh, wow, yeah. Hold on, let me help. Oh my gosh, this guy needs some help here. Poor guy. He's been living with a soppy floor. Full of wrappers. He's got McDonald's, an unfinished combo meal. It looks moldy. Oh. Does your TV work? Just a few more last minute adjustments and I can finally put this baby to rest. Sound of silence at last. Oh, motherfucker. Rats. I guess I'll try again tomorrow. Here's one dollar, kids. Go get yourself some candy or something. <laughs> this poor guy. Call a professional. Newspapers and magazines, they seem to have accumulated over a long period of time. Oh, what's he got in the fridge? Some off-brand soda and ketchup packets. Dirty dishes. Microwave. Okay. You open the pot. Mmm, smells like mac and cheese. Oh, he does cook. Okay. I was gonna say, he doesn't cook and have anything in his fridge because he just orders out all the time. But I guess, I guess he can make some instant mac and cheese too. You know, like Kraft or something. Ketchup packets. Yeah, he gets them uh, from like McDonald's and stuff and he just collects them. A bucket filled with dirty water. This guy just needs to renovate his whole house. Maybe he has really great beds though. Maybe that's like the redeeming factor in all of this. Books and comics about dinosaurs. I could get on board with that. The bed is sticky. There's taffy stuck on the sheets. You would rate it a 2 out of 10. Oh no. We are not redeemed by the bed. <coughs> about this one. No, this one has taffy on it too. These people, they live like slobs. They're worse than me. And that's saying something. At least I don't have sticky bed <laughs> with candy all over it. A scale. You can't remember the last time you used one of these. What we got in here? Bunch of tools. Even though nothing gets fixed ever. Okay, this bed is messy. You would rate it a 3 out of 10. Well, at least it's not sticky. At least it's not sticky. All right. 
I'm out of here. This has been very enlightening. Good luck with your, your leak. Here's the church. Statue of a religious figure. You feel as if it is judging you. Hmm, looks like they're setting up for a sermon. You don't really want to spend your last days here hanging out at church, do you? Yeah, you're right. I don't. <laughs> I absolutely do not. Okay, this person likes... Uh... Um, what's it called? Not husbandry, because that's like when you have animals. What's the gardener version of husbandry? Is there one? I don't know. Bullshit? What? <laughs> knock, knock. Nah. A yo-yo. Alien shovel. This place looks beat up too. Gardening? Botany? Uh, maybe there is not a word that I'm trying to think of. No response. This house is quite pink. I hope we eventually meet all the people that live in these houses. This person... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> this person looks like an artist. Oh, yeah. Hey, stranger! You're just in time to help critique my latest work in process. Progress. Oh, I love critiquing people's things. Can I also look at your bed? You have a dog. Bark, bark. Bark, 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 bark. Good dog. Lucas, quit your yapping. Lucas's food and water bowl, there's slobber all over it. Good doggy. Good boy. What does the artist have in her refrigerator? Milk tea and fried fish cake oh a stuffed animal it's been it's seen better days small bone uh what is this wet spot it's not it's not piss is it please don't tell me it's, it's dog piss lucas's dog bed he seems to have outgrown it a bit yeah a little bit some cheap paints big fish bowl. There's at least two goldfish in here. They look healthy. Well, that's good. This doesn't strike me as like inspirational, like painting music, but to each their own. Okay, I don't like it. It's a wallpaper have been picked off. Someone here must spend a lot of time in this corner. Look at this sketch for me. What do you think? The drawing looks too stiff, doesn't it? Oh, no, no, it looks... Actually, yeah, you can work on it. Thanks, I thought so too. Yes, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration has striketh! And... Voila! Ah, that looks so much better. Can I have a dollar? Hello? Hey, can I poke you for a minute? I feel like this piece is missing something. Maybe the character needs a little bit more detail? Oh, I know. I can add some detail right here, 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 and here. That would work, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, go for it. Of course, it's so obvious, don't you think? Yes, it's all coming to me now. Inspiration has striketh! And voila! Beautiful! The extra detail really does make a difference. Hey, could I get your opinion for a sec? What do you think about the color here? Um, I'm I'm not seeing any color, actually, now that you mention it. Should I make the background red or blue? Wait, don't answer. It would definitely look better with a red background, right? 
sure, yeah. I completely agree! Red is undoubtedly the right choice here. Red will bring this painting to the next level. Wah! 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 Voila! The piece is finally done! Thanks! I couldn't have done this without you. Where's my dollar? Where's my dollar? Where's my 20 bucks? A classical painting. What kind of books does she have? Bunch of art books. Oh. Hey, she has a futon. <coughs> this bed is on the floor. You're not sure how to rate this. <laughs> Sunny says, I, I don't know what to do with this. What is this? Do you even call this a bed? Some cheap paints. He says, this is not an all-American bed. An unfinished painting. Another large bathroom with a washer and dryer in it. Bunch of small toy cars. There's some shiny trading cards on the table. <gasps> Pokemon! Checkerboard. Small figurines. This bed is a little on the soft side. 7 out of 10. She must have a brother or some something. Somebody. Hello? I can rate your paintings. I can rate your beds. One dollar. No? Nobody's interested? Oh, wait. Am I going backwards? Okay, yeah. This is the end of the road here. So I think we visited all the houses. So now we can go to the park. 